Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Your contributions allow me to purchase more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. I currently only have three Patreons donating to my channel. The more Patreons that I get, the more demonstrations I'll be able to bring to you. Today's demonstration is on chemistry. Let's get to the demonstration. I have a beaker of water. In the beaker, I'm going to add a few drops of phenothaline indicator. Phenothaline is a pH indicator that turns pink in the presence of a base. It is clear like water, as you can see. I have calcium metal. Calcium metal reacts violently with water to form calcium hydroxide, which is basic, and releases hydrogen gas in the process. You will see in this demonstration the reaction of calcium metal which is silver in appearance, it is a metal, with water. I will ignite the flame, the gas, that burns off from the water of calcium hydroxide's reaction to indicate the presence of hydrogen gas. This demonstration is very pretty and I want you to observe. I added the calcium metal and it's beginning to react. The solution as you can see is turning pink indicating basic solution of calcium hydroxide. It is already fizzing and releasing hydrogen gas and I will hold the lit lighter near it so you can see the puffs of flame. Once the, magne once the calcium rises to the surface, it releases more hydrogen gas and will ignite the flame and burst even more. We'll wait until that occurs. We already heard one burst of flame. I'm igniting the hydrogen gas being released from the solution. Heat is being generated in the process. It's exothermic.
Sounds like fireworks. The beaker is getting warm. Calcium is the second column in the periodic table next to the alkali metals which contains sodium and potassium which react similarly with water but more violently.
My, how God's chemistry works so beautifully. God is the creator of the universe, and you can see his action in these demonstrations from biology to chemistry to physics. All of his elements on the periodic table react in a specific way. Those bubbles are from hydrogen gas. And a side reaction, the thiol tube. It's not a real thiol tube from chemistry, but it's a play thiol tube. It is evacuated of air and filled with blue colored ether. Ether has a low boiling point. Its boiling point is slightly higher than body temperature. If I grab the base containing the ether, I warm the base, and in the center is a glass tube, and you can see the ether rising to the surface in the tube, and it begins to boil at the top. It has reached its boiling temperature, just at my own body temperature. You can purchase your own from Scientific Direct. From Scientific Direct, you can see a variety of chemistry and electronics robotics experiments and kits. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you, if you want to find those beautiful rocks and minerals, you only have to do one thing, and that is to keep looking down.